What's going on you guys? In today's video, we just got the Cummins all cleaned up. Looking much better after the wash. Mostly just going for all that degreasing under there. Mostly just trying to degrease all underneath the whole front suspension there because I got all this stuff to do an oil change, fuel filter, stuff like that. So just trying to get all that done, but definitely a nice drive. First time driving it in a little while. Definitely rolls some coal, that's for sure. <laughs> Steering in this thing is just awful, man. I definitely need to rebuild the front suspension on this whole thing. The whole thing is just terrible. Like it sits there constantly, wants to pull and you're trying to fight it the whole time. And oh yeah, and by the way, so far, as you can see, all of our gauges are working and <laughs> no lights, fingers crossed. That stays like that because it hasn't happened. It's just been sitting next to the house for about a month or so, except for when we did like videos like fixing the seat and everything like that and the tow mirrors and all the other little things, the dash. So I think it's kind of dried out since I took it to cobblestone and had them like clean the interior and uh, underneath the hood. I think they definitely just got something wet. You're gonna put her out, put her neutral there. Ever since they did that, you know, all the gauges went crazy, so I think it just dried out. I think it all just dried out, and uh, we're all good now. Let's go to fourth. There we go, oh, got a little bit of rolling coal. Gotta go to fifth here, let's see. So much smoke, so much smoke, you guys. Let's see if I can try to get that. Okay, let's go to six. It's just crazy how much smoke that they This thing is just a smoke machine. I even turned down the tuner down there, the Amp Pro Comp. I got it down to just two bars and the thing still smokes like crazy. I almost think this thing has injectors in it or something because it smokes way too much in my opinion for uh, just a tuner down there. Unless that's what the Edge Comp box does. I don't know if it has timing or not, but this baby smokes a lot. Okay guys, so I know today's not too exciting of a video, but we are making some progress on the old second gen there, the $2,800 Cummins. Mostly today is just routine maintenance. I mean, got our good old shell Rotella here. Got a good Fram filter. I mean, I don't, I don't really care. Then we got a new fuel filter. So I want to get all this done on the truck because I don't know when it's last been done to it. I mean, it could have been, you know, 2,000 miles ago. could have been 10,000 miles ago. Got everything all ready. But as far as the oil leaks go, let's get underneath there and uh, take a look real quick. It looks a lot better than before. I mean, obviously our suspension's pretty shot. I mean, like look at that right there. I mean, that's pretty much gone. All of these, these things are just, all the boots are just torn on everything. I mean, pretty sure everything needs to be replaced as far as, I don't really know all the names, but uh, you know, every little joint here needs to be replaced. I mean, they're all just, really bad it's definitely looking a lot better under here though that's for sure as far as the oil leakage goes up in here trying to get the light right as you can see there's a lot of oil like all up in there so i don't really know where it's all coming from but as you can see over here that guy right there is actually a little like oil catch can it's something kind of kind of stupid that i think they did they put like a catch can for the blow by and I'm thinking that right there is what's causing a lot of our problems. So I'm gonna try to drain that right there, see if that thing's full. Cause if that thing's full, that means it's been leaking out, going into this fan right here pretty much, and just going everywhere. And that's where a lot of the oil leakage, I would say, is coming from. Otherwise, another known culprit back up in there, which actually looks pretty dry. The oil cooler right up in there, try to zoom in for you that guy right there which doesn't look to be leaking at all a lot of oil looks like from back up in here i mean i'm thinking this is a front main seal from the looks of it but i don't know i don't know really you can tell where it's coming from i mean definitely at least we got it a lot cleaner down here but i mean here's the steering box definitely need to replace that because that guy is uh definitely worn out that thing's all dented in too look at that Definitely need to replace a lot of stuff under here. Okay, so just got it off. It was a good old 10, of course, but this thing is just disgusting. But we definitely got some oil in there. Not as much as I was hoping, but as you can see, kind of see the reflection there. I mean, it's just a little bit close to these little dots. So, I mean, obviously that's probably an easy way. I mean, it's like maybe half an inch away from these little like drain hole things where I guess it's just supposed to pour out in front of your whole engine underneath there. It's pretty nasty. Um, Definitely oil in here. We'll drain this and um, try to clean this thing up and uh, put it back on the truck. It has been just leaking out a lot and probably never emptied. 
kind of a poor design. What is it? My dad on his truck, he actually took this off and rerouted the, uh, that's the tube that it comes out of. He rerouted it to go like way back over there behind the engine. So it dumps out at least behind it, but it's, uh, definitely something you got to do. Got to drain at least every once in a while or reroute it or redo something with it. Well, we got it all cleaned up and uh, I guess all we can do is put it back on there. It sucks, I mean, because it's like, I know it's gonna happen again. It's gonna overfill. I mean, I don't know how long it will take, but you know, I got, you know, it's empty now. Probably once it gets about right there is when it starts splashing out of those holes on either sides on there. So let's just get this back on there and then maybe um, maybe another day we'll have to rework this and come up with a better design on uh, get rid of that oil blow by there. draining this oil i mean all we got is the plug right there let's uh move over the pan and start draining and get this oil change done with it's leaking all over there it's already coming out should have probably pulled this away sooner but let's get the plug out of there out of the way oh still hot oil really hot there we go <laughs> Uh, that's a big stream right there. <laughs> Way more than like my car or anything. This is like a huge drain plug. That thing's ginormous. I don't think that's normal. <laughs> I don't remember uh, the other Cummins having a drain plug that big in diameter. You can definitely tell something is wrong when I get my aid out and I take off one bolt there or loosen one clamp and look, the whole thing just comes right on out. I mean, it's not even screwed in at all. Let's uh, flip this guy over. Definitely all broken up. Need to order up. That's going to be next for this truck is going to be a cold air intake because that right there, that's garbage. One thing I've wanted to do since I have gotten this thing off is look at the turbo and ew, that is not good. She is uh, very oily in there. Try to get a good view for you guys. Ooh, I don't think that's good that we got some oil in there. Doesn't have any silencer ring of any sort, so that's already been taken out, but uh, Let's uh, check the shaft here and see if there's any play in it. Look at that. Spins beautifully. No shaft play, just a tiny little like nick nick back and forth with very minimal though. But I do not like the fact that we got oil in there here. Let's wipe that up. I don't think we're supposed to have oil in the turbo there. I, I've never seen that before, at least on any of the other trucks like that one there or my 05 with 280,000 miles. That one has no oil in it. Huh, I don't know if that's a sign of, I can't remember off the top of my head. Let me know in the comments below. Is oil in the turbo extremely bad or um, is it perfectly normal? Let's uh, leave in the comments below what uh, what's the suggestions there. I don't think it's like terrible, but I don't know. I'm pretty sure there's not supposed to be any oil in there. Other than that though, oil, the turbo shaft, everything seems good. Like blades don't look all chewed up or anything. They look pretty nice actually, so. I think they might even be a little bit better than my uh, 05 with 288 on it. So, I mean, this one only has, at least from what the clock said, 250,000 miles on this truck, but it does have the factory exhaust. Look at that. This thing has a factory. Yeah, there's like a big dent there in the exhaust pipe. Oh my gosh. This thing is probably really restricted. You should definitely get like a full exhaust for this thing, like a nice five inch or even just a four, because I think this has the factory three or three and a half, whatever the factory is on it. Cause all they did is they literally straight piped it. They just took out the muffler and the uh, cat. So this thing is a straight piped factory diameter exhaust on this truck, which sounds pretty good, pretty loud, but uh, definitely could be better. That, it's got a Napa filter on, definitely full there. We're just gonna set this in the uh, new or other box so it doesn't fall over. Set this on the table, don't wanna risk it. Get our nice new Fram here on. I got the, uh, what is it, the 99% dirt removal? It's like the mid-grade one. They have the crappy orange one that says 95, and then they have this one that says 99, then they got the other one that's like gold, which is for synthetic oil. So I think this is good. I think this will be fine. Let's uh, get some oil on the O-ring here. Get some of that nice new oil. You wanna put it around the O-ring and then uh, we'll put it right back onto the truck there. There we go, got our nice Fram filter on and this crappy air box on. This will definitely be next video. We will definitely get some uh, cold air intake on here real quick. This thing is definitely garbage. Drink up beautiful Cummins. Look at that. Good old oil going right up in there. 
Yeah. Good old Rotella. All right, you need to dump all three of these in there and we should be good to go. Well, there you go, you guys. We are done changing the oil, putting in a fuel filter, all that kind of stuff right there. Got all that changed and uh, Cummins is nice and good. Got all underneath there all cleaned up. So hopefully that uh, catch can there stops a lot of the oil leaks. Hopefully that'll fix some of that and uh, we'll probably be able to find the rest later. Definitely want to get that air box, was it right up in there? Want to get that replaced and uh, that'll probably be next video, nice cold air intake. And probably the front end definitely needs a new steering box and the whole front end needs to be rebuilt. So I don't really know if I'm gonna do that myself. I might ask around, see how much that might be to get it done at a shop, just the front end, because that's, that's a lot to do. I've never done something like that. Maintaining the coming, she's all maintained up and uh, should be ready to roll. Just need to get that steering all worked out and uh, better intake system, because that's pretty garbage what's on there right now. Hey guys, here's a little before. I'm going to talk to the leather guy, see if we can get this fixed. But, I mean, this thing is pretty bad, especially up top here. I mean, like, look at that. That thing is just gone. I'm trying to get you guys maybe a little bit of a closer, clearer shot. I mean, that thing is pretty torn up, pretty bad for sure. And um, we also got this guy right here. We'll see if we can maybe do something about that. So... There you guys go, there's the before. Let's see what the uh, after looks like after I talk to him, see if we can get this done. Got the leather all fixed up. I'll show you that in a minute, but look at this. Before, I'm actually getting window tints. I'm just gonna give you guys a little before of what the truck looks like. Try to just show you real quick. That side's all really bad on the glass, but as you can see, I mean, you can see right through it, even the back windows. And uh, get this over the tent shop. I'll show you guys what it looks like after, and then I'll show you guys how awesome the steering wheel and the uh, center console look now. It looks so much better. So we just got back from the dealership, just got home from work, and look at that. Look at the truck. It looks so good. Let's take a look at it. This is the first time I've ever put limo all around on the truck. Like, look at that on any vehicle I've ever owned. I just want to give you guys a little walk around. I think it looks beautiful. Got the light bar turned on. It looks so awesome. Look how bright that thing is crazy this thing is so dark like look at the back like the windows are just black it's crazy look at that in a beautiful sunset right there oh yes that is just picture perfect right there man this thing looks so good i really like how the window tint like turned out look at that like i've never done full limo and that thing looks amazing try to get to the back you guys kind of see it there look at that that thing is just beautiful looks so good getting around the other side over here man it just looks amazing i just need to fix that little bit up there like it's just peeling a little bit on the top but it'd be perfect this truck is starting to look really nice i really do like it here let's look at look in the inside look at this here you guys go here's the after of what it looks like on the inside by the way look how much nicer it's looking now like dang but look at that look at the steering wheel thing looks like it's almost brand new for how that console looked look at that he told me he put a patch in there and patched it and then like used like the paint and stuff and like crazy stuff like it looks a lot better like just stepping back it looks like a brand new truck like look at the steering wheel it's like nice and soft and smooth now like a little bit still up here you could still kind of tell but he filled it in as much as he could and tried to you know round it out but it is really nice like the leather medic he did a really good job i like to shout him out picture of like his uh, leather medic and everything on there uh, if i if i can find it try to get his phone number and everything but his name is scott he hooked it up great job if you guys out there need some leather work or like a center console definitely hit him up i know i'm calling sent you this thing like it looks amazing up in here like look at this like it is insane it looks so much better than before like you could still tell i mean obviously it's a really worn down steering wheel but it feels nice now like it feels so much better like look at that like it's just so good try to try to show you guys everything like it just it's a lot better than it was like you guys seen them before like now it's way better and this right here so much nicer i mean it's nice and smooth and just perfect so we definitely did a good job on that. And this thing is turning out really nice. Like with the window tint and everything, like I'm really liking it. But there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry if it was a little boring, just all the maintenance stuff on there, but definitely the window tint and the, uh, the leather and everything looks really nice. Like I'm really liking, like that truck just looks, oh, it just looks so good. I really do like it. So thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, like the video if you uh, like how the truck's looking now, because it looks really good. So Thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next video.